This video is for educational purposes only. All the attacks that were performed in this uh, video was performed in a controlled virtual lab environment. We have used virtual machines on an isolated private network to carry out these attacks. The presenter is not responsible for any misuse of the information presented in this video and does not support any malicious hacking activities. Please keep in mind hacking systems is a cyber crime and will land you in prison if you misuse any of these tools on systems for which you don't have permission. So please use all these tools wisely. Let's move on to the demonstration now. Hello and welcome back to another session on cyber security. In this session, we're going to take a look at uh, Hydra and Hydra Graphical. So in my previous session on Hydra, I have uh, explained how to run a Hydra using the command line interface. In this session, we're going to see how to use uh, Hydra Graphical and Hydra. So this is menu based uh, interface and we have a graphical uh, GUI based interface. We'll see how to use uh, these options of Hydra and run some commands. So now we are using uh, Kali Linux, which is the attacking system. And I have also got uh, Metasploitable 2 running on my virtual box. So the architecture for uh, this demonstration is uh, like this. I have uh, my physical machine on top of that. I have my host operating system that's Windows 10 and on top of Windows 10 we have uh, VirtualBox 7.0 and I have two virtual machines running here one is uh, Kali Linux as you're able to see here this is my attacking system and uh, I have Metasploitable 2 and uh, I have put these virtual machines under the host only adapter network so I also posted uh, separate lecture videos on how to set up uh, this infrastructure so now uh, we'll go on for the demonstration. If you're having any issues with uh, regard to setting up this kind of an infrastructure, I'll be leaving the link for uh, those videos in the description below. Have a look at it. Now let us uh, go to Kali Linux and start using Hydra for performing these attacks. So how is that you access Hydra is you go to the menu and uh, you type Hydra. So we'll first uh, go with this option, Hydra, and then we'll come to Hydra Graphical. So we have started Hydra. Let me increase the font size a little. The, the service that we are going to attack in our victim is the FTP service. So we'll uh, select FTP here and uh, the target IP for our victim. So what is the target IP for a victim? That is a Metasploitable machine. The target IP is 192.168.56.103. So let's enter that 192.168.56.103 and uh, enter a username. Here the username for my target is MSF admin and enter the password for the target. It is MSF admin. And uh, here we need to select some options whether the uh, Password is same as login. Yes, here the password is same as login. So let me give an yes here. Port number, we know FTP runs in port number 21. And uh, do you want to add module options? Enter them here. Let's leave this empty. Do you want to run the command now? Yes. So you see here, uh, one of one target successfully completed. So it was successful in logging in using the username as msf admin and password as msf admin so this is quite easy right in the earlier uh, session on hydra i have just told you how to write these commands and uh, execute such a command on uh, the victim system here for us no need to write these commands directly we'll just use the menus here we'll enter the target of the victim and we'll enter the service we are targeting the port number we are targeting and uh, the username and password so there are certain variations to this uh, instead of uh, directly giving the username password and then the target ip for each of these things we can give a file for instance i can give a file containing a list of uh, target ips i can give a file containing a list of uh, usernames and i can give a file that contains a list of passwords so what hydra does is uh, it takes every target and then it tries logging in with the username and password from the files. So this is just a small variation to how we have executed the commands earlier. 
let's uh, take a look at the files i have created some files like uh, sudo nano hydra target.txt so this contains the list of uh, ip addresses that we are going to target so i have given the ip address uh, for my victim inside a file now let's uh, come out of this and i have created another file sudo nano hydra user.txt so this contains a list of usernames so i just given a list of usernames here you can have a list of all the usernames that can be used for exploiting the login of the target and uh, i have another file which i have created that sudo nano hydra pass.txt so this uh, file contains all the possible passwords uh, that will be used for uh, uh, logging into the victim safety service so we have uh, three different files here one one is used for the list of uh, ips and one is uh, used for the list of possible uh, usernames and one file is used for the list of possible passwords so we can use the files for all these three options now let's uh, execute uh, hydra again let's uh, call hydra so let me increase the font size so now instead of uh, just giving the usernames and passwords and targets directly i'll be using these files so the service we are going to attack is ftp and the target is here you see you can enter a file name i'll enter hydra uh, target dot text and um, the username file is hydra user dot uh, text and the password file is hydra pass dot text and uh, it is the same as login whether the username is same as login here are uh, options are like uh, it takes the username and the login i mean the password to be the same so let's uh, give an s yes. port number is 21 for ftp and we'll leave this empty so you want to start attacking yes so it starts see it was successful actually uh, trying to log into this specific ip from the file using the login id as uh, msf admin and the password as msf admin on the ftp service and it's also trying the other combinations from the files and uh, it's able to sell you one of two targets successfully completed one valid password found so it's able to find one of the valid passwords so it it, it is taking the msf admin from the file password msf admin from the file and it's also using the target from the file so instead of directly giving uh, these options you can also use a file option wherein you can populate a lot of uh, usernames passwords and targets so that's how you can use uh, the menu based interface of hydra to quickly run commands instead of directly writing commands like this uh, which i have demonstrated in my earlier session if you're not looked at my earlier session on hydra i'll be putting up the link for that lecture video in the description below have a look at it so now let us move on and understand how to use uh, hydra graphical so let's uh, search for hydra and here we have hydra graphical this is nothing but a graphical user interface for carrying out uh, the same attack say we can enter the targets ip here so i'll enter it as 192.168.56.103 or else you can also select a list of uh, targets so I have created this hydra target.txt. We can also select the target list by checking this option. We will now give the IP directly here. And port number we are going to target is uh, 21 for FTP. And the protocol will select that to be FTP. And uh, the output options we can select be verbose and uh, show atoms. After this we can go to the passwords tab. First thing is we need to enter the username. So we are going to use the username MSF admin. So it's going to take this username and try and uh, log into the FTP service. Or else you can give a username list. So by selecting this option, you can select a file containing a list of usernames. And password uh, 2, we can give directly MSF admin. And uh, if you have a password file, you can select this option and uh, select the password file like hydra pass.txt, which we have created. So I'll just give the username and password and um, next uh, we'll go to tuning we'll leave these things as the default i made no changes here specifics also i leave things to default 
let's go to start and then we'll start the attack now so here it has finished so it was able to log into host uh, 192.168.56.103 and uh, login id is msf admin password is msf admin so this thing uh, we maybe will uh, stop this uh, attack we will try uh, taking a file target list uh, maybe we can select uh, our file that uh, we have created the search for hydra target.txt so here is our file let's select this file so we are going to populate a target list here and next uh, let's go to passwords we'll use the username list so here let me again search for hydra user.txt so this file contains the list of usernames we'll use that and um, password too we'll use a password list so we'll search for this file hydra pass.txt and we'll use a password file so instead of just directly giving the usernames and passwords like this we are using the files here for the targets usernames and password and uh, as usual tuning and specifics uh, let it be default let's, let's go to start let's uh, clear our output and then let's click on start now so it's now going to use the see it's showing you the attempts it's performing so it's taking every username say login is matthew password is satish and it's trying this on the target so you're able to see every attempt here and uh, wherever it is successful it's highlighting it here see here this is successful so that is our result so it's going to try all the username password combinations on that specific target we just have one target inside this file and uh, that's how this is uh, carrying out uh, so it says it's successfully completed and we have seen that successful uh, username and password highlighted here so we can use hydra from the command line we can just write the entire commands and uh, we can execute our commands like this which i've shown in my earlier video lecture or else we can go for a menu based interface wherein we select the options and it runs the commands for us or else we can use Hydra graphical uh, which is nothing but a graphical uh, user interface and it does the same thing and it helps us to carry out the attacks at a faster phase. I hope you were able to follow these steps uh, given in this uh, demonstration. If you have any questions you can leave those questions or if you need any clarifications you can leave those clarifications uh, or questions as comments below. I'll be answering to those comments. That's it for now. Have a great day.